everything. All right, guys, we are back in free code camp. We're working on some intermediate algorithm scripting, some all primes. So let's just quickly go over what it is that we're trying to do here. In this case, we want to take in an inputted number. We then want to get all the prime numbers up to that number. So in the instance of the number 10, that would be the number two, three, five, and seven. Those are all prime numbers. And then we want to just add them all together. So there's a couple of ways we can do this. The way I decided to do it was to just add it to an array and then add the array or reduce the array by adding it at the end. So to, to quickly go over what a prime number is, uh, because this is it's more math than programming at the end of, uh, end of the day. And once you're able to understand how prime, prime numbers work, you can probably figure out how to check for all numbers in a prime number. So prime number is any number that is only divisible by one and itself. Um, one does not count as a prime number. Everything else does that is that meets that requirement. So two is a prime number, but every even number after that wouldn't be because two would divide evenly into it. So essentially, anything that's divide is any number that a number below it divides into it evenly, meaning there's no remainder, will return a prime number. So uh, for the entire length. So if we go up to seven, uh, two, two, three, four, five, and six, we'll never divide evenly into seven, hence seven's a prime number. So how do we get started with this? So as I said, we're gonna create an empty array to store our numbers in. We're then gonna create a for loop that's actually going to start at two, and then while it is less than, or equal to because we need to we need to check our input in number as well to see if that's a prime number that's why it's less than or equal to we're going to go ahead and increment upwards for that so what's going on here the way i did it was i had a second for loop let's say our input in number in this case is 10. if we're checking to see if when we're on let's say seven we need to check one two three four or excuse me, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but we don't need to check eight, nine, or 10. So the way that I did this, um, pretty intuitive if you just kind of think about, think it out for a second, and I, I highly encourage everybody to draw it out. If we take my webcam for a second, it might be a little hard, hard to see, but over there you can see my whiteboard, and I actually drew all this out, kind of rough drafted, rough drafted it, if you will, so I, and I highly suggest you do the same. So in this case, we're just gonna start at two again, our very first number that we're iterating from. And then we're gonna say, while well, J is less than or equal to I, because we don't need to check any numbers above the number that we need to find out if it's a prime. So next we're gonna just go ahead and increment I. And now here's where the real logic comes in. So <laughs> we're gonna have two if statements here. And again, you may have a better way of doing this. This is the most simple way for me. Now, if our i is ever equal to our j, all right, let me put it this way. So let's just have our two if statements first. We'll go do ahead and do that. We'll keep it empty. So in this case, in our second if statement here, if i if the number we're checking modulo for any value of j is ever equal to zero, that means it's not a prime number. So what we want to do is we just want to break that. There's no reason if we're checking the number six that on two, because two divides evenly on six, or six is divided evenly by two, that we need to check three, four, or five, because five won't return anything. So once it fails one test, it's done. There's no need to run, continue the for loop. So that's why we're gonna break the for loop. Okay, so that's the logic there. So the next thing we need to do is what what is the statement right here that we want to array.push 
I or J, it doesn't matter at this point uh, with how my logic goes. So when we want to add that number, when it's a prime number, what's going on here? So the way my code's set up is whenever I actually is equal to J, that means that we have checked all our values and it would have broken or break, braked, broke, I guess we'll say it would have broken the for loop if, if it ever, if it failed one single test. And that's how my logic works here. So if, if we ever get to i7 is ever equal to 7, we're going to add it to the for loop. And then that's actually going to um, gonna return 0 as well. So it'll just break the loop anyhow. Do keep in mind that if you end up switching these, it won't actually add the value ever because it needs to add the value first before breaking the for loop. So just something to think about. So what do we? Uh, so what we can do now is just kind of test our code. So that's going to be the hard, the easy part. So let's make sure we're, we're everything worked out. There's no spelling mistakes. So so you can see right here two three five seven. These are all our prime numbers when checking ten. So how did I go about doing this? Now when I when I was doing this, I was pair programming with a friend and I worked it through one more time on my own. And so the way that He's, I, I originally wanted to do a for loop where we just add through the values and he told me to stop being a chump basically and just use reduce. So I'm going to go ahead and just showcase reduce if we haven't used it before, I don't remember. But array comes in with a, a array is built in with a function called reduce which will reduce your array based on a function that you are passing in with it. So in this case, what we're going to do is take in an x and a y from our array we are then going to add them together and then we're simply going to return it so here you'll see right here we're going to add it together so what's going to happen is array is going to run this reduce function this uh, that's going to run a function that adds like the zero index and then the first index and the second index and the third index etc cetera, etc cetera, until there's no more spots left and then just return a number and you'll see right here we end up getting 17. So we know that's correct because if you were to check that 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, and then the final prime number uh, when inputting the number 10 is 7, and 10 plus 7 is 17. So let's go ahead and just put our uh, comments in here. Uh, if anyone that's been watching these, you know I, I'm a huge, I make the suggestion of always putting comments in. So what, what's going on in var array? Create an array to reduce later, reduce later, and store prime, prime numbers. Here, first uh, loop to check if number is prime. And then here we <laughs> check all numbers up to uh, actually, the better way to put this is check inputted number by all numbers leading up to it. And then here, if they are equal, it is a prime number. And then If true, break the loop and isn't prime. And then we'll put one last thing here that says, <coughs> excuse me, that says uh, reduces the array by adding all of its inputs. So again, I hope you guys found this helpful. As always, thanks you, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I have a Patreon page as well, guys. And leave me comments. I really like them, and they're really helpful for other people that are learning as well. So I hope you guys are doing really well in Free Code Camp, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I just want to say thanks to Skilla Thriller for sponsoring this video. He has his own YouTube channel playing games such as Fallout 4, Reign of Kings, Dota 2, and Diablo 3 and I'm sure a few other games so go ahead and just click the 360 annotation above and it'll take you to this channel if you're interested in checking it out as always guys thanks for watching